hey guys. Right, so I had a request for a sound, and um, it is this sound here. This one here. It's in the Red Heat, uh, Red Heat song from Schism, is that how you say it? Anyway, it's uh, not so much the actual bass line sound, it's just the effect, the chopping effect. So just a quick video here on how you can create that effect. Um, I've made it in Massive, and um, this is what I have here. So if I just open Massive, okay, so... <laughs> Okay, so this is what I've just quickly whipped up. Now, um, this is how I've achieved the sound. So oscillators can be whatever you want, as long as they are sent through to the same filter. So you can see here I'm, I'm using um, 1 and 2, and they've both been pushed down to filter 2. I don't know why, just you can use 1 or 2. So they're put through to filter 2. I choose the low pass 4, and... That's pretty much it. And then when I come down here, I use the LFO. I attach this little green box, click and hold, drag it there. Okay. And you can just sort of fiddle with how much you want it. You can have it all the way. You can have it less. Or you can see the difference now. Okay. So basically you just get this sound because when you've... You've just got to imagine that the LFO is following this line here. So it's very important that you take it from the sine wave and you put it onto the square wave. Okay. Now you just got to imagine that this is this line is basically affecting the cutoff. So it's almost it's like the volume. So the volume is up and then it's off, and obviously it just keeps spinning like that. So that's the sine wave. This is the one you want here. So it's actually got a, it's actually creating a bit of silence, which is like this part here. So that's very important, and that really is the sound. And so of course he had a bit of pitch modulation. So obviously make sure you got your um this one here is controls your amount of pitch modulation. So up twelve is up one octave, like so. So he sort of pushes it up like that, um, and. What else about the sound? Now then, you can obviously automate it. So if I go back into the LFO, there's different ways you can do it in the song. Obviously, you can change this one here. It changes the rate. You can you can take it off um, sync, and then obviously you can start to automate this one here. But he would, I think he was using this one here, twenty. Cool. So, and obviously once you start to change any of these oscillators, um, then you can start to create a whole new sound, and you can change the speed. So that's how you create that chopping sound that he would have done with a bit of put, uh, a bit of pitch modulation. And you're away laughing. All right, guys. I um I always check as many request as I can and when I see one that I haven't done or you know see one that I could that I could do I promise you I do them so uh, I hope you I hope this helps some people create that chopping sound it's very popular and uh, don't forget to check out my forum sign up and we'll see you back next time for another tutorial thanks guys